All right, determine the dimensions of a rectangle solid with a square base, square base, with a maximum, with maximum volume if, it, if its surface area is 365, 7.5 cubic square centimeters. I keep making mistakes. <laughs> Anyways, the surface area is 337.5 square centimeters. We want the maximum volume. It's a rectangular solid like this, so we don't, why? The height can change. The base is a square. Now, if you think about this logically, you should know you're getting, trying to get the closest to a cube as possible. To get maximum volume with the least, with a set surface area, you're looking for a cube, which in the end is actually the answer. But what you do to show it mathematically is this is the formula for the volume, the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is x squared times the height is y. The surface area, well, the area of the base, there's a top and a bottom, that's 2x squared. And then each side is x times y, and there's four of them wrapping around. For the, there's four xy's and two x squared. I know this is 337.5. I then solve this for y. Could I have solved it for x? That would have been really ugly. So I solve for y. I plug it into my volume. And now I'm deriving my volume. Let's turn my volume equation. And later on, I'm going to derive my volume. Now, how do I know that I wanted the volume equation? Well, aren't we maximizing our volume? Since we're maximizing our volume, that's what we're going to derive. If we're maximizing our surface area, we'd be deriving our surface area and plugging volume into surface area. You have to think about what is your primary? What are you maximizing? And the other one's your secondary. It's helping you create an equation with only with fewer variables. So here's our volume. To get from here to here, I distributed. Actually, I first canceled this squared with this x, and then I distributed the x. This times this, we leave you an x. That would bring it to x to the third. And again, the x dropped out because it canceled with that square. Then when I derive this, some people will get confused, but that 4 on the bottom, I can leave alone. It's like one big 1 fourth chilling out front. And um, when I derive this, I leave that alone, and I just derive the top. So I drop the x off, bring the 3, get a 6x squared, leave the 4. So be careful about that. A lot of people will try to derive this or do quotient rule, and they do a lot of work for no reason. But when I set this equal to 0, because I want to know maxes and mins, actually, we want to know max, maxes. When we set it equal to 0, when you solve this equals to 0, you get Something looks like this, and when you square root, you get positive negative 7.5. Now, do we care about the negative? No, because the negative doesn't make any sense when we're talking about distances on a graph. With word problems like these, with maxes and mins, you tend to get answers that are obsolete, that don't make any sense. Be careful with those. You want to think about which answers make sense and which don't. So the negative does not make any sense. Ignore it. So what I do is I basically take the positive 7.5. And what I did is I plugged it into the surface area equation right here and got my y. Now, before I did that, I probably should have verified it actually is the max. And the way I verify it actually is the max is I use second derivative test. You could have used first derivative test. Now, isn't this a pretty easy to get a second derivative? Doesn't this just drop out when you drive it? Doesn't this just become negative 12x and the 4 stays? That's an easy derivative. And then I could just plug in 7.5. When I do that, I get a negative, which means isn't that a max? So did I verify that actually 7.5, 7.5 is actually going to be the max I want? Yes. Now, if that came out to be a min, you have to do some other thinking. There's probably some other situation that's a max. You have to think normally. The answer, if there's only one answer, it's probably going to be what you're looking for. But you just want to think about it, check the logic of it. Anywho, as I said earlier, it's a cube. 7.5 by 7.5 by 7.5. That would have the maximum volume for the given amount of surface area. Um, an analogy to this one, or a connection. Think of this as wrapping paper, and you're wrapping your Christmas present. What's the biggest box I can, what's the biggest uh, amount of space I could have inside my box? 
with this set amount of wrapping paper. That's, a, that's kind of a connection.